As we approach the bus, we're looking for anything unusual, anything broken, anything hanging off, or any major leaks. Step number two, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna check for my paperwork. I'm gonna make sure I have my insurance card, my registration, my fuel, um, fuel credit card, and then my Samsara instruction sheet. All right, now I'm going to go to the back and check my engine and my fluids. First, I'm going to dock my wheel. Checking my triangles, make sure I have three triangles and my extra belts. Come on over here, Brian. All right. First thing I'm doing is checking my oil. My oil level is at a proper operating level. Check my power steering fluid. Proper operating level. Check my gearbox. Oil. Proper operating level. And check my coolant. And my coolant is full at a proper operating level. All right. I'm going to check my belts, make sure all my belts are not frayed or cracked. All right. Check my water pump. Water pump sits back here. My water pump is gear driven. I want to make sure it's not leaking. Check my power steering pump. Make sure all my bolts are in place. My power steering pump is secure to the vehicle and not leaking. Power steering pump is gear driven. Check my alternators. Make sure my alternators are secure to the vehicle and my alternators are belt driven. All right, that's everything here. Then I'm gonna step back and I'm gonna check all my hoses, all my electrical wires, make sure everything's intact. Look back in here and check my exhaust. Also, if I could get under the bus, I would check my frame and my drive shaft to make sure they're not bent, cracked, or broken. All the bolts are in place and all the U-bolts are in place and secure to the vehicle. All right. Checking my doors, make sure my doors operate properly. Come around to the side over here. I'm gonna check my AC compressor. Make sure my AC compressor is secure to the vehicle and I have a uh, um, proper operating level on my oil. I'm gonna look in here and look for my air compressor, which is a uh, um, unit back there with the red plaque. Make sure all the wires are secure and connected to the vehicle. Check my toilet, make sure my uh, dump valve is not leaking and that my toilet is not leaking. Check my batteries. Make sure my batteries are secure to the vehicle and um, there's no corrosion on the terminals and the terminals are tight. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, come back to that. I can't get it open. All right. Now I'm going to start my engine. The first thing I'm going to check when I start my engine is my oil pressure. I have plenty of oil. Now I want to make sure my oil pump is working. I'm going to do a safe start. Safe start is my seat belt's on. Check my seat belt is operational. The belt is not frayed. My vehicle's in neutral. Emergency brake is on. My foot is on the brake. And I will start my vehicle. All right. Checking my oil pressure. My oil pressure came up to about 50 pounds. I'm going to turn my wheel out so I can check my brake components. And then I'm going to shut the bus off. Now I'm going to go out and do my walk around. Turn all my lights on. All right. All right, first thing I'm going to check is my tire. The front tire is minimum 430 seconds of tread depth all the way across. Check my sidewalls. It's the weakest part of the tire. I want to make sure I have no cuts or bubbles on my sidewall. I'm going to check my rim. Make sure my rim is not cracked or illegally welded. Check my valve stem. Make sure my valve stem is secure to the vehicle, not leaking, and there's a cap on it. Also, I want to make sure that I have a minimum, I'm sorry, maximum of 130 PSI of air pressure in my tire. Check my lug nuts. Make sure all my lug nuts are tight. And check my wheel seal. Make sure my wheel seal is not leaking. Now I'm going to check my front suspension and my brake components. Check on my brake chamber. Make sure it's secure to the vehicle. Seat clamp is in place and tight. Bolts are in place. Check on my uh, brake lines. Make sure they're secure to the vehicle and not leaking. Um, the, way my brake, the way my brakes work is the air compressor sends air to the brake chamber. When I step on the brake, the brake chamber pushes the air out, which moves the slack adjuster, which needs to be at a 90 degree angle with the brake chamber, which pushes the push rod onto the shoes, and the shoes make contact with either the disc or the drum. Check on my uh, shock absorbers. Make sure they're secure to the vehicle and not leaking. Check on my airbag. Make sure my airbag is secure to the vehicle and is not losing air. Checking my luggage compartments. Make sure the doors are operational and there's no foreign objects in the uh, luggage bag. Checking my fuel cap. Make sure my fuel cap is operational. And it is. And make sure there's no leaks coming from my fuel tank. All right, my rear wheels. Make sure there's a minimum 230 seconds tread depth all the way across in the major grooves. Checking my sidewall, make sure there's no cuts or bubbles. Um, my inflation would be 130 PSI max. Checking my valve stem, make sure it's secure to the vehicle. And here, because we have dual tires, there are two valve stems. Make sure that they're secure to the vehicle and the caps are in place, no leaks. Checking all my lug nuts, make sure my lug nuts are tight. Checking my hub seal, my axle seal. Make sure all the nuts are in place and there's no leaks. Checking my rim. Make sure there's no cracks or illegal wells on my rim. All right, let's see if I can get this open. Thank you. That's good. That's, that's good. All right, checking my shocks. My airbags, make sure they're not leaking, shock absorber is not leaking, and the bolts are in place. Now I'm going to check between my tires, make sure there's good space between my tires. Um, what creates the space on these tires is its inverted rims. All right, checking the um, inside tire, make sure it has 230 seconds all the way across of tread depth, and it's, got prop it's properly inflated. Checking my splash guard, mud flap, 
Make sure it's secure to the vehicle. Checking my tag axle. Make sure I have a minimum of 230 seconds all the way across. Checking the uh, sidewall. Make sure there's no cracks or bubbles. Rim has no cracks or illegal wells. Lug nuts are all tight. Maximum 130 PSI of inflation. And the wheel seal's not leaking. All right. I got it. Push that one in. All right. Checking all of my marker lights all the way down the bus. Make sure they're secure to the vehicle. All the bolts are in place. They're proper color, no condensation, and operational. Checking my windows all the way down. They're not cracked. None of them are ready to fall out. And my marker lights on the top are operational, proper color, no condensation. Checking my rear lights. Make sure they're all operational. Four ways of flashing, um, proper color, no condensation. Checking my reflectors. You got one over here and you got two back here. Make sure that they're proper color and are secured to the vehicle. All the bolts are in place. Checking my license plate. Make sure it's secure to the vehicle. All the bolts are in place and my license plate light is working. Checking my bumper. Make sure my bumper is secure to the vehicle. Now for the purpose of a road test, DMV road test, they only want you to check what's different on the off-road, I'm sorry, on the road side of the vehicle. During a proper real pre-trip, you would check every tire, every luggage bay, everything on that side as you did on this side. So let's walk up to the front and we'll check what's different on this side. So first thing I'm going to check here is to make sure I have extra fuses. Alright. And I do. Extra fuses. All my wires appear to be intact. Check my windshield washer fluid. Make sure I have windshield washer fluid. There's a um, sight glass here for my windshield washer fluid. Then down here, I'm going to check my steering box, which is that black component there. Make sure it's secure to the vehicle. All the bolts are in place. It's not leaking. And the hose going to it is not leaking. Also, a little further in there, I'm going to check my steering linkage. And I'm going to check the cotter pin on that castle nut to make sure it's um, present and not ready to fall out. If you needed to open up your front compartment for your spare tire, you would pull on this. It would drop the front component, the front compartment the front bumper and also on the older buses when you come around front here on the older buses you would open it like this there's a latch here that'll drop it down okay all right front of the bus you hold this one front of the bus I'm checking my mirror make sure all the bolts are in place mirror secure to the vehicle and it's not cracked checking my driver's window make sure it's not cracked secure to the vehicle all right, checking my windshield. Make sure my windshield has no cracks and that all the rubber is in place securing the, the windshield. Checking my windshield wiper. Make sure it's secured. I'm sorry. Make sure there's no frays and it's got good pressure on the windshield. No frays, good pressure on the windshield, secure to the vehicle. Checking my lights. Make sure my lights are operational, proper color, and no condensation. Both my headlights and my signal and four-way lights. Check on my bumper. Make sure my bumper is secure to the vehicle and my license plate is secure to the vehicle. Checking this, checking this um, mirror. Make sure it's secure to the vehicle. All my bolts are in place and my mirror is not cracked. I'm going to walk inside, checking this um, reflector. Again, secure to the vehicle, proper color. All right. Again, I'm going to sit in the seat. Anytime you're in the seat, you want to have your seatbelt on. All right. I'm going to start, safe start my vehicle, foot on the brake, emergency brake on, bus is in neutral. All right. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is straighten my wheels out because part of the Brake test is to move the vehicle. All right, we all we never want to turn the fast idle or the air conditioning on 
while we're getting that beeping sound because the belts are loose. I'm going to start from the left and work my way over to the right. I'm going to check my mirrors, make sure my mirrors are in proper adjustment on both sides. All right. I'm going to check my windshield wipers, make sure my windshield wipers are operational. And I'm going to check my windshield washer, make sure my windshield washer is working. All right, I got my four-way flashes on. I'm going to check my light indicators now. Four-way flashes are operational. Left turn signal, right turn signal, and high beams. Now I'm going to check all of my gauges. My temperature gauge is starting to climb. I got 100 and, it's 102 degrees on the engine right now. So I know that that's working. I'm going to check my oil pressure again. It's up around 50 PSI, which it should be between 20 and about 70. I'm going to check my battery. My battery should be charging above 24 volts. It's um, two batteries in there, 12 volts each, 24 volt system, which means it should be charging above 24. I got plenty of fuel, my fuel is full, and my air gauge is working, it's starting, it's building up my air pressure. Check my horn, and now I'm going to check my defroster. Check my defroster all the way across. Make sure my defrost is working, and it is. And in the summertime, I would check my AC. And in the wintertime, I would check my um, heat. On these Prevos, on the older models, you have a button here that you must push to get your AC. Now right now, this the heat, this red light should come on any second now for the heat. In the uh, summertime, you want to make sure that this bottom one is green in order for the AC to be to know that the AC is working. All right. All right. Now I'm going to check my, um, I'm going to do my brake test. Well, I'm going to wait for the air pressure to build up. And I'm going to do my brake test. All right. I'm going to check the operation of my door. Now that my air pressure is built up and my door is operating properly, I'm also going to check my entryway. Make sure that there's nothing on the steps that would create a slip, trip, or a fall. All my lights are working and all my grab rails are secured to the vehicle. Okay, again, anytime you're in this seat, you want to have your seat belt on. All right, now it's time to do my brake test. The first part of the brake test has three steps. Anytime you turn a bus off, you want to make sure everything electrical is off. The fast idle is off. And we will begin our brake test now. So the first three steps is turn the bus off. Power it back up and release the emergency brake. Then with both feet on the floor, you want to watch your gauge to make sure that you don't lose, after the initial drop, you don't lose more than two PSI in a minute. It's the longest two minutes of a brake test. What we're doing here is we're simulating a bus coming over a mountain and the bus shuts off. So all you have is the air that's in your lines. The air compressor is no longer pumping air into the system. So you want to make sure that your system holds the air in case that happens to you. Okay, so the first minute is up. Now I'm going to place my foot on the brake pedal, push down like I would at a, a stoplight, and make sure after the initial drop I don't lose more than three PSI.
All right, so after this minute is up, the next step is I'm going to pump down my brakes. And before I get to 60 PSI, I should get either a light or a buzzer or a bell. I don't need all of them at the same time. As long as I have one, I'm good. And then pump them, continue to pump them down. And before 20 PSI, my emergency brake should pop up. Okay, so the one minute is up. Now I'm going to start my pump down. And my first light came on at about 80 PSI. Second light came on at about 75 PSI. And my emergency brake popped up a little bit before 20 PSI. So now I'm gonna restart my vehicle. And as my air pressure is building up, I'm going to remove my chalk for the last two parts of the brake test. Close my door. All right, I'm going to release my brake. I'm going to put the bus in gear. I'm going to engage my brake. And I'm going to give it a little bit of gas to make sure that my emergency brake is holding. And it is. All right. Then the last part I can't do because we're inside, but I would release my brake. I would put it in gear and I would pull up about five miles an hour, step on the brake and bring my hands a little bit away from the steering wheel as I'm pushing on the brake to make sure that the brakes are not pulling against the steering. All right, and that's the end of my brake test. Now I'm gonna do my inside inspection. My inside inspection begins right underneath Brian there with my, um, Check my fire extinguisher. Make sure my fire extinguisher is secure to the vehicle and is properly charged. Now I'm going to check my seats. Make sure all my seats, all my grab rails here and my seats are all secure to the vehicle and all the bolts are in place. All my seats are good. Now I'm going to check a couple of my emergency exit, my windows, make sure they're working properly. I usually check one on each side and I also try and alternate. One day I'll check the front windows, one day I'll check the back windows. Next thing I'm going to check is the overhead hatch to make sure that that is operating properly. The first thing I do is pop up both hinges, front hinge and rear hinge. Turn the red knob to exit and use my thumb to push up on the red knob, which opens it for the escape. And then line it back up, get it back in, listen for it to latch. It's latched, check it, turn it to latched and pull it down and that concludes my pre-trip.